Right, welcome back to the channel. And today we have Mr. Hodgetts in the building. Luke, thank you for coming down, mate. Anytime, um, pleasure. Going to be doing another fitting video. Uh, driver fitting. So we did fit your driver previously. So we're going to just see what's going on with your driver. Current setup, yep. hit against all the new stuff. And let's just see if we can optimize you even more, really. Sounds so good. So should be a good, fun video. So uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Let's go. Right, so we get baseline set with yours. So stealth two plus, yep. ten point five, yep. set standard, standard weight in terms of neutral weight, yep. forty five inch playing length, C seven swing weight, for sure, very light. It's because you got a stupidly big grip on it. <laughs> so it's an air plus four mid size, what seven layers? Seven layers. Jum it's jumbo in my irons, but yeah. I couldn't, I didn't. They ran out of jumbo grip, so I had to try and make it up. Kind of bodged it with that one. Okay, and make cool. it up tape. Um, <laughs> so that's where the head weight's still standing, but that's where the swing weight's going to be a bit, a bit off. You know, yeah. um, 45 inch playing length, which again I like. Um, and you like the driver, don't you? Yes, sir. Always yeah, I've, I've been hitting it nice for a little while now. But yeah. you know, I'm like, new stuff comes out, I want to try it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, mate. See if I can better it by that one percent, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? And you never know. Check out that's performing for you as well. See if any tweaks are needed to optimize exactly. performance as well. But yeah, we'll um, we'll see. Like, so we'll probably keep the shaft the same for a while because I fitted you for that shaft a little while ago, and you, you get on with it. We've had you? this for a, had this shaft what three years? Whenever you opened, wasn't it? Three really? Yeah, just yeah, just a little under three years. Yeah. yeah. So original Ventus Blue Six X. Yeah, it's a great shaft for you. Success. Stiff, not X. Oh, is it stiff? Stiff. Oh, I thought it was X. We originally tried. We tried both. Okay. But. I was able to, this, the dispersion on the stiff was a lot tighter. That's why I went for stiff rather than X. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Sounded good, mate. It was. Not too shabby. It was a bit, it felt a bit bottomy on the strike. Yeah, a little bit low toe. Smidge low toe, lots of spin, which we'd expect a lot of spin from a low strike, but that is still quite a lot of spin, to be fair. Yes. So now when we fitted this, it was about two and a half thousand, wasn't it? We were mm. trying to, that was our target number. That was so low. That was such a low heel. Good bad one, though. <laughs> How come I was hitting them so good when we, weren't have, when we didn't have the cameras on? <laughs> <laughs> Pressure on, mate. Sounded better. Put it a bit right more now. down the line. Looks like a bit of a, a flatter point. ball flight. Yeah. That's better. Much better. You do normally play with a little fade, don't you? Yeah. So like, I don't mind something that starts down the left and stays there because it means the pass go in the right direction. Yeah. That's, that strike felt better. It was still actually a tiny bit low in the head, to be fair. Yeah. Like just a smidge, but that, that spin difference, 2200. I tend versus, to hit everything pretty low anyway. Which, I mean, at, you know, at the bottom, that's not bad numbers. We're gonna, always going to expect slightly lower launch. Yeah. Um, 22 backspin. Yeah. It's crazy the difference between the foot that one and the first one and that one, isn't it? Yeah. That strike was there and it was 3,000 backspin. Yeah. Just shut that down a little bit. Its angle of attack remained the same. The loft came from 19 down to 15.4, yeah. and that is what the difference was. Sounded higher on the face. Yeah. It's good. It's a bit draw, yeah. It's almost the one we want to avoid for you, isn't it? Really. Because the left swing. You're not really going to be aiming like straight to cut, you're going to be aiming a bit down the left to cut yeah, generally. for sure. Yeah, so we don't want to really see that one. No. Because it's just drawing 28 yards left if you're already aiming left. It's not That's ideal. That's not good. Not ideal. So yeah, even the launch has been out bad, but just don't want to see that shot really. That's the one I like. Starts left and fades. How did that strike feel? Yeah, okay. A bit low, but low heely a little bit. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's always a question of like, you're quite consistent. So how, how well do you optimize it and where do you optimize it for? Yeah. Because that is actually, you would say that's a pretty good shot on, on course, right? Uh, yeah. Like it's fading Shape back. wise, but yeah, I knew it would be, it felt low and healy, which was a tiny bit healy, but. Tiny bit, more just, more just low. But yeah. if you generally strike it there and we're seeing a little bit of a fade, all of a sudden that spin comes up like yeah. three, two and you're like, oh, that's... It's also probably because my stock strike is slightly toey. So anything yeah. out of the middle feels healy. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. That's the, that's the... That's the one. That's the normal shot, that one. Okay, interesting to see those numbers in. Yeah, I'd say that's probably the stock swing. Yeah. 
stock shot. It's good, yeah, still a tiny bit low toe. Again, so like when you hit your stock fade and you catch it marginally low, like we think you do quite consistently anyway, yeah. then that's been probably is a little on the high side. Yeah. But the launch isn't. So then it's always balancing that variable. Like, well, if we were trying to bring that spin down by giving you, let's say, lower loft, then the launch is also going to come down. So it's finding yeah. that, that right middle point, really. It's one of those, I think. I don't know whether maybe over time, because it's spun more, I've kind of adapted to try and launch it lower. Possibly. Potentially. Yeah. So whether I, if I had something that w I needed to launch a bit higher that naturally had the lower spin, yeah, I could I could just adapt just, to it. Adjust to it, yeah. Yeah, I think everyone does that. Even the worst players, I think, do that yeah. without even knowing. They're always going to react to the results. Sure. Like in here, everyone's going too high and everyone starts trying it down on it. Yeah. It's like, we always react and good sure. players do it over time and probably change the swing a bit. Yeah, for sure. again but slightly better like more forward flight though wasn't it yeah still felt a bit low toe but well, it was just toe it was, it was just toe fractionally low but not much yeah. so and there you go all of a sudden you kind of catch it that couple mil higher up the face you square the face off a little bit more and the spin drops to 22. yeah it doesn't take a lot for it to change a lot no i do kind of vaguely remember that from when we had the fitting originally though the difference in strike across the face with this head I know I really like this head while we threw it. That's why we ended up. With, that's why we ended up going with it. Yeah. But I remember the slightly off strikes were varying quite a lot. I mean, it's always going to happen with most heads. To be fair, some heads are better than others. The mm. Stealth and Stealth Two were they the best? Stealth Two Plus, especially. I don't think it was the very the very best of that. Mm. To be fair, so we are always going to see that a little bit. Unfortunately, yeah. that's just physics and that. With some marketing that comes out and makes it seem like it's just going to be amazing from every spot and the spin is yeah. going to be the same ball speed. Go Physically impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah It'd be great sure. if they did that, but they don't. For sure. <laughs> so dark speed LS 10.5, heavyweight in the toe, still sticking with your Ventuslo 6S. Right. You drop that swing speed, mate. Um, <laughs> you're always borderline anyway, because you're kind of probably yeah. on course, probably like high 100, like 108, 109, yeah. maybe 110. I'm 100, I'm about 100, when I last time I checked on course, it was about 108. That's my stock swing. Yeah. I can step it up to 110 if I want to. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But I don't tend to do that very much. And you're not like a massively heavy loader anyway, are you? No. So it's... <laughs> Sounded good. Oh. It's a lovely flight. That's a beautiful flight. One and done. I'm intrigued on that strike. It sounded good. It felt a bit low. It was a little bit low, yeah. Yeah. Tiny bit low toe, but did say that's that is your slight miss, isn't it? To be honest, that's my stock strike. So But also interesting, which is a theme that I'm sure people were gonna start to notice on on my YouTube. Um, like swing speed. Oh. It's quicker, wasn't it? Yeah. 112. I wonder why. Not much, but one mile an hour. Yeah, it's noticeable. Yeah, so ball speed jumps one mile an hour. I always see it with Cobra. I oh, have done I have done since. That wrap. launched a bit lower as well, didn't it? Yeah, smidge, but again, it's, you know, um, but that's a little it. bit low in the head. But 10.7, I mean, yours, your best one was 11.6, that last one. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's not much. Um, but yeah, that was a lovely shot. Probably my favorite shot I've seen you hit so far. It's probably my favorite shot I've hit so far. High toe. That was high toe. So this would be interesting. I'm intrigued to see how much that's spun. I feel like nothing. No, the flight actually looked, still looks quite balanced, if I'm honest. It wasn't horrendous, was no, it? No, it, it didn't. It certainly didn't dive. Yeah, 21. Was it? I mean, that for a bit of a sheesh. For that strike, it's done very well. Very I well. I wasn't expecting that. No. I didn't see where that finished, though, to be fair. I'd... 27 left. That felt high on the face. Oh, it's just holding its line. Again, that's fine. It didn't curve left. It just held its line. That felt quite high. So it's probably middle then. Yeah, probably. It was a little bit high. Again, actually getting really good numbers out of that, out of like the slightly higher portion of the head. So yeah. considering the first one, we liked the numbers at 25 and it was a little bit low. And now all of a sudden we've hit a couple high toe. And they've only been 21, 2200 from the high toe. Compared, good. Straight away, comparing it to mine, the difference in spin rate 
from the difference of strikes. Yeah, it's so much tighter. Seems tighter, yeah. To be honest, I've been super, super impressed with that dark speed LS since I've done how many driver fittings mm. in the past couple of weeks, a lot. Yeah. And it's, it's done, performed so well on miss hits. That, again, sounded a smidge higher on the face. That, Def that felt like, that felt middled to me, which means it's probably, I mean, again, the slide looks lovely. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> That felt middled, but I don't know whether it is or not. Yeah, nice. In 27 spin. Yeah, I felt middle, slightly toey. <laughs> yeah, <Sure>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, that dispersion straight away, that's really, really nice. There's one that's borderline down the left. That's okay. Only thing is for, for someone who wants to fade, it's finishing it's the left fading. side of the line, which isn't great, but none of them fading, are getting you in trouble. Club speed is, yeah, just over a mile an hour more than yours on yeah. average. And it's definitely not as low in the head as well. We're hitting it probably slightly more toey, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, so ball speed we're seeing is down a fraction. It's probably that second shot there, which was very toey. That's dragging down that average. Yeah. If you knock that one out, they're basically identical ball speed. Um, we're actually getting a little bit more carry out of this. Gaining in five, aren't we? I mean, arguably, it'd be interesting to see what happened if we turned that down, to be fair, and turned it like to open the face a little bit. Well, loft. Hmm. I mean, I quite like that, as it, to be fair, as it is. I'm it, intrigued to see what it's like if we do open the face up a little bit. Yeah, it'd just be interesting to see, because again, if we, if we deliver it more open relative to the path, regardless of what the loft is set at, mm. it's still going to spin well. So it's not yeah. like just cranking down the loft will reduce that that launch and spin Probably loads. take it down, what, like 100, 200 RPM maybe? Well, again, not, it depends on how you deliver it, but not yeah. even that probably. Let's see. I like that. And it's done pretty much what we want it to do. I like that as soon as I hit it. 280 carry, nice little fade. That felt so much nicer as soon as I hit it. Really? Okay. I mean, it shouldn't have felt that different, but I mean, you just hit it well, that oh, helps. Yeah. How strange. <laughs> but again, seeing 13 launch and 2400 backspin because delivered the face a little bit more open to it. The backspin hasn't come down, yeah. given us the fade that we want to see. And that one averaged, well, that one is exactly the same as the average, basically 12, four, actually launch maybe a bit higher, 24, 2500 backspin, 281 carry. It's really good. Love that flight, love those numbers. Good could, be one and, could be one and done. You're going dark speed. I'm pretty sure that happened last time as well, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. It happens <laughs> so often in my fittings, honestly. I'm just it. so good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I mean, that's the toe strike. Putting you off there, yeah. It was high toe. High, maybe even high toe, but Not again, that's lie, exactly, high, exactly, exactly what we want it to do. If I'm hitting a high toe, look how, look how high toe that was as well. I mean, that's <laughs> such a good result, though. I almost missed that when you see that. Very toey, yeah. Very, very out of time. And again, it's just what we saw with this head in other test videos, and I see him fits. Yeah. So good at holding its line. And again, 2,500 backspin. I mean, it's awesome. Oh, that was more me flipping the hands. Ooh. That one's low spin. Yes. <laughs> that was just me when I go, when I get lazy with flippy. it. That was a toey one again. It's okay for a toe. I mean, that's, that's barely curved left at all, has it really? No. Uh, maybe the only thing that I would say about this and noticing about it is we are catching it a little bit more at the toe, but it does seem to be giving us a pretty good result as well. Is the length of this the same as mine? Yeah. To say, it doesn't feel much. Doesn't you feel did long. always used to have a little bit of a toe stride, didn't you, to be fair? Yeah. Completely honest, most good players do tend to have a little bit of a toe strike. That was a lovely flight, mate. That would be like goals if I'm looking for it. Yes, the good ones with this have been, yeah, again, slightly low, but again, it's doing really that's well on standard, the spin. That's standard for me, though, that low strike. Yeah, it's good numbers. Like, yeah. Obviously, it launches a little low, we expect that because of the low strike, but spin still does really, really well. It tends to be about 25-ish on the equator, 25, 26. It's actually spinning lower out of low part of the head, which is mental. I'm so, a fan of that. It's interesting as well, isn't it? If, you look at the, if we look at the data in terms of everything about that, mm. club speed within 0.2, yeah. efficiency the same, angle of attack exactly the same, path exactly the same, face exactly the same, lies coming out slightly different because it would have changed slightly on the sleeve, but loft exactly the same. So even though we've turned it down, mm. almost every single dynamic measurable on quad is the same. Um, and it's within one yard. You'd like ball speed, within half a mile an hour, launch within half a degree, yeah. spin is 100 revs less, carry is one yard longer. 
So, I mean, it's almost not really changed the numbers at all, really, oh, yeah. turning it down in lofts. If anything, it might just help protect you against that left miss and maybe bring a little bit more of that left to right movement into yeah. it, which is what we want to see anyway. So, it's exactly what we want. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, I like that. So do I. <laughs> Uh, that feels heavier in the head. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, we can we can dabble with that actually. To Something be fair. So we didn't actually just tell people what we're hitting now. Um, <laughs> triple diamond. AI smoke. Triple diamond. I felt spinny. Yeah. Um, so that is the ten and a half head turned down to nine and a half, exactly the same as what we just hit with the dark speed, the last set. Um, and instantly, so again, it's just a pattern, exactly the same pattern as I found in the TJ video when we did basically kind of what we're doing now, this is more of a fitting, but uh, swing speed comes down. Mm. Swing speed comes down, spin comes up. Exactly what we found with TJ. So again, Callaway, for whatever reason, like it, it's a slower head. Yes, the swing weight is heavier. You just picked that up as well, straight away, yeah. that it is a heavier head than the dark speed. So for this video, we probably will change the weights, see if there isn't going to be any difference, just to yeah. keep people happy, you happy. <laughs> um, because you know, it's to see. Um, but yeah, less swing speed equals less ball speed and more spin, all for equals sure. less distance. <laughs> nice little fade. <laughs> Dead straight. That's good though. Yeah. Higher up on the face. I would assume. I still felt bottomy. Did it? Still felt bottomy, yeah. Yeah, pretty similar. So let me have a quick look at the I just kind of like, I felt there. like I just swung within it a bit more on that one rather than. Yeah, the so face was less open, so loft comes down, but I do think you're a bit of an odd one where your dynamic loft actually varies mm. a, a, a fair bit, which I don't see that often, to be fair. Um, and again, so the loft went from 20 degrees down to 16.5 degrees. So even though the strike was identical, that's where the spin came down. Yeah. And carry went up, which yeah. is good. You know, it's still a great shot. Instant reaction to how that looks and feels compared to dark speed. Not a man. No? I don't know, I kind of had in my head I wasn't going to like it because I didn't like the original paradigm. Yeah, preconceived notions, mate. Not good. I know you should come into every fit and like completely open, but I like the look of it, for sure. I do like, I really like, I really like the look of it. I like how clean it is on top without the arrow. Yes. I know the paradigm, but orig the original paradigm didn't have that on triple diamond either. No. That looked like a good swing. Good I swing. I really like this driver. Good swing, <laughs> That actually is really, really nice. I mean, keep going, keep actually, going. That was a nice shot. Like 280 that. carry, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. the, one, the thing I'm, speed. one thing I'm finding with this though, I feel like I'm trying to steer it. Like I'm trying to shape it, sort of thing. The I felt like I was in more control of the head with dark speed. Interesting. Okay. I mean, how does the weight of it feel? Like when you picked up, you said it did feel a bit heavier compared to dark speed, which head weight is slightly heavier. How, how do you think that feels to swing compared to? I feel like I know where the head is more. And okay. I feel like it's whipping more, but it's going to with the head being heavier. Yeah, making the shaft blade very slightly softer. Yeah. I'd be intrigued to try the X in this with this head. The X sharp. Okay. Head. Yeah, yeah. To stabilize it a little Just bit. Stabilize yeah. it that a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I'm that. intrigued to try that. But at the minute, like I'm loving the strike. The strike pattern is, is seeming very consistent on this. Yeah. Which is obviously a, a, a big part of what we would look for. For sure. Again, that's nice. No, I'm certainly not hating it at all. The shape's consistent, which yeah. I like. And unlike the dark speed where we did get the odd one going left we haven't had that with this yet no not at all and that strike is dotting yeah that strike I know is the, dotting. When, the original paradigm i had a two-way miss right um which to be fair with this one it's looking like it's not doing that no and that strike is instantly on, way on more top consistent. of each other yeah. yeah which that's what we want yeah lovely mate really nice that was a lot higher on the face I would actually go, I would actually say that I prefer this to dark speed. Yeah. For you. Although the dark speed ball flight was lovely and the performance was still great. Yeah. The strike's probably a bit more consistent on this and it's not looking like it wants to go left, which is no. exactly what we want for you. Yeah. Because that there, that is bonkers. Either there's something, <laughs> it's either it's defying physics or quad might have been a bit wrong. Yeah. Because that's four out to win with a face dead square to the par and a toe strike. And it faded. Yeah. Which is, shouldn't happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like, it, it should not happen. Uh, and it was a lovely little fade one yard offline from a toe strike. It wants to fade, which for you <laughs> is exactly what we want. What we want, yeah. Maybe a bit too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's mad how the numbers say different to what it feels. You know what I mean? In terms of? In terms of this one doesn't feel as comfortable. Okay, interesting. Maybe it's the weight though. Let's, I'll knock the weight down a little bit in a minute and yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll just test and see if it, if it is that maybe. Could it just be the way it feels? Could it be the weight? I think it might be the weight in the head, you know? Yeah. Great miss though, isn't it? Wow, like <laughs> for a bad swing. That was, a low, that was like a low heel. But yeah. Or low center, depending on if we're going by most people. They're great ones to see though. Yeah, just low, yeah. Again, great miss. Can we try changing the weight and see that? Yep, let's try that. Do let's do it. 10 instead of the 14. Yep. So you can feel it? Straight away, that feels better. Even though it's only so four it's grams. Four grams, yeah. Right. But it's like, it's about two swing weights. So most people probably would feel, and you're quite susceptible to swing weight anyway. So, yeah. I mean, let's look at the swing speed. Was the swing speed down? Yeah, it was down, down almost two, two mile an hour, down two mile an hour compared to dark speed. Which uh, is probably another speed. reason why the Distance was shorter, but efficiency is still the same. Yeah. Um, but even with the same efficiency, that ball Ooh. speed drops two and a half mile an hour. Yeah. Because of that swing speed difference. Yeah. yeah. Now okay. light swing weight. Let's see if we get that ball speed back. Okay, it's a lovely shot. It's long. That club speed's back up. Club speed back up. Yeah, club speed and ball speeds back up. Yeah, nice. Look terrible, well, quite terrible as well, but I mean, that's it performed very well. Yeah. Really yeah. nice numbers. And again, it's not turned really at all. Five yards offline. Mm. Maybe faded a little more than you'd like, but that's safe. Yeah. That's safe. I mean, we'd rather see that in yeah. the left. Yes, for sure. Again, it's okay. It's not your best, but it's safe. Probably still fairway. I mean, it's a good delivery, really. It was just the low strike that added the yeah. spin. It doesn't, it actually instantly doesn't look as comfortable, to be honest. No. <laughs> right. So although you said club speed was up, I mean, it just, it's just funny when you get something in your hand that you're not confident with, mm. because we started at 130, not really knowing what it was. Then we went 112, then we went 111, and now we're down to basically 110. Trying to steer it again. So it dropped like one mile an hour every time you swung that. Yeah. For you, in that setup at least, yeah. the first was better. Yes, TSR three, nine degree, 10 down to eight. So that loft sleeve is slightly different to the tightest one. You can go down one degree, whereas on the tightest, it would be 8.25. But so yes, yeah, nine to eight, yeah. standard head weight at the minute, weight in the toe, cool. still the 6S Ventus Blue. Bottomy? Well, a little bit, but it's not okay. Just spun. Yeah. You can just see it climb. But again, I mean, <laughs> Gonna take it. Yeah, you take that for sure. Yeah, very bottomy, yeah. So yeah, for a low one, gonna expect a drop in yards, but it's down the fairway. Left. Mm, it's done all right, to be fair. Yeah. How did the strike feel? Okay. Came out a little low, that one, didn't it? Yeah, interesting. Stop okay. the strike for me. Yeah, I mean, just the spin's low. I mean, I know that is, that is obviously lower lofted than the others, but generally speaking, the TSR3 was a little bit of a higher spin head yep. than the Dark Speed LS and uh, AO Triple Diamond, all that stuff. That spin's a little low for my liking, but it still hasn't curved. No. Which is, you know, good. Uh, no, I'm not loving it. No? No. In terms of just the way it looks, the weight of it, bit of everything? All of the above. Okay. It's lovely though. Every time you say you don't like a driver, you know, have a really good one. Yeah, 283 carry, which is basically your number on that little shot. Yeah. Yeah, I still think for me, this spins like a fraction lower than we'd want to see it. Yeah. 
at 22. Still not bad. I mean, still very gameable. Um, but you probably have to play that either nine square or 10 down. And I think 10 down would spin too much. I think yeah. nine square would probably be fine, but would probably be more left-sided than something like the Dark Speed and the AI Triple Diamond would be. Yeah. So you would rather air on the right side a little bit more. For sure. No. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that's it. <laughs> 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 so yeah, this is a nine degree because we don't, we don't have the ten and a half yet. Sure. So we probably would like to go ten and a half, ten down a fraction, but still waiting on Taylor May to give that to us. Yeah, it's just too low spin. Still take the result, but it low. looked kind of low and low. Hot. Low on the spin front and low on the launch front. I mean, it's still over 2,000 to be fair, but it's a bit aggressive. Again, we can hit a couple of it just to get a date set, but nine degree, I, think little nine degree to, launcher. I think we'd have to be going 10 and a half, maybe one click lower. Sounded good. That's actually looked like quite a nice flight. It is a nice flight, isn't it? I mean, it was a little, it still looked bottomy. a little aggressive, but. That was bottomy. So it probably spun quite well then. Yeah. yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Still, good though. It feels nice though. Good bad one. so low, isn't it? Yeah, did that strike feel all right? I mean, it's a bit pulley, but... Yeah, it felt which... a bit heely. It's probably, it's probably middle. Slightly toey still, <laughs> just catching it low. Yeah. Obviously the again, way. the strike pattern's not great, is it, straight no. away? Probably need to tell I'm not a massive fan of how small the face looks. No, don't like it. Addressed. It's probably just more me than anything. Yeah. The thing is, you got to like what you look down at. It's got to yeah. sit right, it's got to suit you right, and then that's going to play into the shot, isn't it? For sure. Yeah. So we're saying at the minute, it's definitely between the Dark Speed and Callaway, the AI Smoke Triple Diamond. Back to standard head weight, 14 gram front, 2 gram back with that the Ventus Blue 6X. Straight away, that weight feels better in terms of, in terms of swing weight. And still no, still 10.5 turned down to 9.5, which I actually quite like for you. Yeah, nice. That felt nice. I like that shot. I like that a lot. That felt nice, I did. Yep, standard slightly low toe strikes, but very good numbers. Mm. 12, 2 launch, 20, just shy of 25 backspin. Yeah, really like that. Very nice. Ooh, lefty. Big lefty. Does that feel like a left swing or? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It's one thing that I do like about that. The strike where it is seems better mm. with that head at that weight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, and it seems again, consistent. Yeah. That's nice. Does it feel better in the X? Yeah, yeah. Much. It's a little bit more stable. Yeah. Feels like I can actually swing it rather than trying to steer it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, mate. That felt bottomy a bit. Yeah, it's but like again, a little bit healy as well. It's a lovely little fade down the middle. Yeah, you might lose a couple yards from the bottom strike, but it's going to be the same no matter what head so you're hitting. Really Healy. <laughs> yeah, nice and healy that. My standard heel. Straight middle. My standard heel um, dead out the centre. But again, it's you know, 287 down the middle. You're not going to grumble at that at all. No. The dark speed. I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, straight from that, we'll jump back into the dark speed standard head in 6S and see what happens. Yeah. And then we can. I'd be intrigued you know, to try this shaft in, the, in, the, in that yeah, as well. Yeah, okay. Well, we, we keep, we'll, we'll do that then. We'll put that shaft in the dark speed. Hit one more. I didn't feel left. I didn't feel that left. I mean, it's not horrendous. No. It didn't curve, did it? It's just like a dead no. straight. Just stayed there. Straight pull. Yeah, and to be fair, for that delivery, it's actually done okay. okay it's still a little bit low, slightly toe, which we know is your sort of standard strike, to be fair. It's still quite tight though, aren't they? Yeah, exactly that. It, it's much tighter with, with that head at that weight, mm. which I like. The only thing I would say, again, I don't know if it's how much of it's you and how much of it's the club, but the only thing I would say with this setup, I actually probably preferred it in the S still. Yeah. I don't know if it might have felt a bit with better With the lighter in the head or no? 
No, standard head. Standard head in the S. I know that you said it might have felt a little bit soft, yeah. but the results were better, in my yeah. opinion. Just standing back as an observer. It is a nice head that is cover in it. It looks really smart. That's, I still think that's the best looking head this year. Yeah, I think most people would agree with that. So yeah, Dark Speed LS. Still 10 and a half, turned down to nine and a half. Ventus Blue 6X. Feel a bit lighter in the head straight away? Yeah. Yeah. But not in a bad way. That's lovely. That's lovely. Everything about that when you hit it. It did, didn't it? And it jumps in distance as well. Miles. Sorry, not my language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just club speed. Look, again. Because everything up. else that we were saying, oh, that's just as quick now, that's just as quick. I think it's just you getting warm. Now we jump straight back into this and the cub speed's even higher. The ball speed jumps to uh, just Ooh, over 165. So the, the numbers were, were pretty solid, launch and spin wise. The distance, if I'm going to fit in the distance jumps, I'm like, oh, that spin might be too low because that's one of the ways that distance will obviously jump. If the distance gets too, the spin gets too low. But that wasn't, was it? That was not. The numbers were good. It's just you swinging faster. Dark speed power. Definitely a quicker head, like swing speed wise. And that was a toe strike. Yeah, that's done really well. Let's actually held its line. That was very toey. Almost looked like it might have had a smidge of fade on it almost. I don't know, it was so, I was kind of edging, yeah, toey again. Yeah. Um, again, still speeds up and the numbers are actually solid and it didn't curve. I mean, it's just dead straight ball flight. Again, it's very impressive. Oh, I don't know, it, I was kind of like swaying towards the Callaway. I think, I think the strike pattern on the Callaway in the first set was better, but then Every time you hit this, it looks comfortable. Yeah, it feels comfortable as well. It's lovely though, so nice. Such a good ball flight. Oh, flight's a joke, isn't it? So good. It's just got an extra gear in it. Like even that, club's up again. Speed, club speed's up again. Yeah. Is, mate, it, we're getting close to this 170 ball speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, jeez, oh, <laughs> yeah, wow, that's awesome, mate. So good. So again, it's the opposite of when we went, I can't even remember what combo it was, where the swing speed started, when we took the weight out of the AI Smoke Triple Diamond and yeah. the, the swing speed started going down, now the swing speed's going up. Yeah. Because the fact that you reacted to the swing speed was higher tells me that you weren't trying to swing faster. No. Which some people generally do without telling me. Um, so it's, it's getting higher and higher. As soon as we picked it up, you know, now we're at 115. Which is ridiculous. For and 166.8 ball speed. I never swing at 115. So again, I mean, if you look at those swing speeds now, 114 and a half average for those last three shots with a dark speed compared to 111 average with the AI smoke that we were swinging in the last setup. And exactly the same shaft. Okay, it was a little bit of a heavier head, we know that, but... It shows what confidence does, doesn't it? 100%. So, I mean, even see it in fits with people who aren't consistent, but yeah. just you get something in their hand that's like, they love, and it just yeah. transforms instantly. Yeah, it's really good. Just really liking this set. I mean, that's going to fly onto the green almost. Did fly onto the green. That's ridiculous. My 168 ball. Come on, we're getting this. 168 <laughs> ball. 168 ball. That's quick, mate. Really quick. Um, and again, that's just, just efficiency. Like, so it's not like you swung that any faster than the last one. Anyway, look at that dispersion. So the fastest. That's a like, joke. That's ridiculous. That is a joke. The fastest ball I've ever got is 169. Really? Yeah, and this, you're not even going at this yet. I'm not so stepping on this, really. Later, when we, if you have a bit of fun, you, you, you could easily get 170 with that. But yeah, 291 carry. Again, ball speed 167.9. I but, think I'm happy with this, you know. But again, what, 288 carry to 277 carry with your setup. So it's 10 yards. That's a club. Yeah, that's a club, yeah. You're going to score better, yeah. easily. Yeah. With a, cl a club less in for you. At your, and I mean, in a minute, we're at one yard front to back. Standard deviation <laughs> <laughs> and a hundred revs of spin standard deviation. What's left what left to right, does it say? Uh, yeah, line? one yard, one yard, four, four yard, yards. nine yards. <laughs> yeah, so I mean they're all just well again, you know, we within, saw that. They're all within we saw that on the dispersion map, they're all just like, literally almost on top of each other, which is just ridiculous. Madness, isn't it? Like, it just looks comfortable. Yeah. And you know, even the flight window that's coming out in now, you can you can't see any gaps really. It's, it's all kind of like all yeah. the same flight window. Is, and I feel like I'm swinging within myself as well. Yeah, and you're getting more out, way more out of it. Like 168 yeah. ball is a joke. Yeah. Um, it just, it does have a different gear, that Cobra. And I found it probably not so much with, not as much with Aerojet, but LTDX mm. was the same. Like the swing speed was ridiculous. Yeah. I think this is the same. Yeah, that's a joke. So good. Go on, where's that ball speed? Did you try, did yeah. you try that one a little bit more? Yeah, I did. 300 carry. 169. 
<laughs> that's not even get. Wow, well, it was going out a little bit, wasn't it? A but little still, bit. Like, a joke, good. Like 117. I'm, I'm 0.5 off. Yeah, Come it, on. Rounds, it rounds down as well. Even again, look like you went at that one. That's 118 it? club. Perfect little fade. If that doesn't get 170, there's an issue. 170 ball. Yay! First time ever. Let's go. <laughs> 170.4. Okay, now look at that strike pattern again. Right, joke, I'm... good. So the combo is like perfect, I think. Uh, he's taken a picture already. And we haven't even finished filming. <laughs> I can't even, I can't not on that one. <laughs> and again, perfect numbers. Like 13 launch, 2400 backspin. Efficiency's on the money. Strike pattern's on the money. Dispersion's absolutely, in... look at that dispersion. That's a joke. Get out. Like you just have to leave the studio. I think that's a joke. Um, yeah, I think job done. Absolute job done. I'm happy there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the easiest and most definitive end to a fitting ever. Done. Easy as that. Right, so yeah, absolutely stone cold finish there. Just ridiculously good. So final specs, we're going to go dark speed LS, 10 and a half head to down to nine and a half. Ventus Blue 6X, 45 inch, which was exactly the same length as we had Luke's playing at at the beginning. And we did have an MCC plus four midsize on that, where he does play a jumbo. So the swing weight's coming out of C7, at the minute on the scales, it is gonna come out slightly different with the jumbo when we get that on. So we might do a little follow-up video, just get the jumbo on, check the swing weight, check the numbers, see if the strike's still right. Can maybe have a little bit of play around with the swing weight, get some different weights to finalize specs. But at the minute, that was a uh, mid-size at C7. Um, and yeah, we'll try and get it set up exactly like that and playing like that, because that was ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.